Welcome to TV TV Sport and to New Cuffbury, the home of Wimborne Town, where today Bemmett and Heath Harlequins are the visitors. And let's get straight into it by having a look at the league tables before the start of play. Wimborne Town, top of the tree, Bemmett and Heath Harlequins just outside the playoffs in eighth. In terms of current form, the Magpies are round about where you'd expect to find them. The Harley Quinn's a little bit lower than I thought, and they'll be looking to put that right today. Your officials today are Daniel Lamport, the referee, Alan Bewley and Joshua Gordon. Look at these two Herberts, so busy they couldn't even give me a wave. And as the referee snatches the ball, here's your teams. It's handshakes all round and away we go. The first opening came in the first five minutes to the visitors. Higgins picks up the loose ball for the first time here and unsuccessfully tries to find a teammate. But not to worry, it will soon be coming back his way. And incidentally, I love the commentary from the crowd behind the goal for this one. And what was the home angle on all of this? Well, you can't argue with that. We spent three years waiting for the ball to come into the media tower. Fucking hell, it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> the Magpies were really struggling to get a foothold in the game and getting caught on the break by the pacey Bemerton forwards. And they'll be pleased that Ross Flitney was on his game. This magnificent first-time ball from Stuart Green set George Britton away and once again it was up to Flitney to save the day. Magnificent header from Wimborne fan Graham Elliott can only be topped by an interesting fact from inside the media tower. Is it three that Kieran's on? Because I text my wife and she, it's not got through to her. I believe so, yeah. And while those interesting facts are being shared, Stu Green misses from five yards out. Hey! Go in, pick it, stand up! It was around about this time though that the Magpies started to show some flickering signs of life. Second time in two weeks, my camera took a bit of a bashing. <laughs> Luckily, there's usually a friendly fan around to give it a prod with his drumstick. Go on, Bill. Yep, yeah, that's done the trick. On an unrelated note, if anyone fancies sponsoring a new camera, then give us a shout. <laughs> Oh. 
As we approach the halfway mark, Grimble got themselves a free kick and Oakley Hanger floats it in. Morgan's first effort is saved by the keeper, but hotshot Billy Walker is on the spot to prod it home. As is becoming the norm, there was a big old following behind the goal today and they were making a bit of a noise. Love it. On the 56th minute, new signing Matty Burrows was sent on and within a few moments, the Wimborne fans got a taste of what he can bring. And then a few more moments later, he had another go. The visitors though, well, they always posed a threat. This dangerous ball could have quite easily been poked in. Having been brought on in the 72nd minute, Cam Munn was bundled to the floor, but it was just on the edge of the area, as this replay will show. Five minutes later, and Munn finds Lewis Bill, and his rasping effort leads to a lovely little story behind the goal. Now that's probably made that little boy's day. You've got to admire Charlie Rayfield's acting abilities after he puts this challenge in. That challenge is obviously too high, probably mistimed, but it's too high. Now then, what I don't get is what's worse. Was it Carl Michael's tiny little shove? Was it the tackle? Or is it the fact that there's too many people stood up in the dugout? Yeah, let's deal with that. That's the real big danger to the game, isn't it? Yeah, sit down, people. Come on. And don't forget, it wasn't even a free kick either. It's a drop ball to Bemerton. Still, as long as we're dealing with the important things in the game, let's crack on. First minute now, can the magpie snatch it? No, no they can't. And just a heads up, I'm free next Saturday. So if you've got a decent game and a decent venue with a decent view and you want a decent bit of video coverage, give us a shout and I'll see whether I can make it down there. And 1-1 one, one is how it finished, which is probably a fair result. On the league table standings, Wimborne stay top and Bemerton Heath Harlequins remain in eighth. <laughs> I 
I hope you enjoyed the highlights. I'll now bid you farewell and speak to you next time. Yeah.